Uh, Adopt the Arts started about two years ago. Um, I was headed to Haiti with about 20 guitars after the earthquake and uh, had some difficulty getting the instruments into the country. There was a bit of a tax uh, thing going on with uh, stuff going into Haiti. So my neighbor, Abby, who has two children at the school up the street, came down and said, we've got problems right here in LA, you know, maybe we could take those guitars up to Rosewood School, which is about two blocks from my house. I said, well, let me go check out the classroom. So I went up there. They had an old broken down piano. And wow. The music class was way at the back of the school, in like this kind of old, you know, double wide. You know? <laughs> and uh, I just was like, I was like, this is it? This is the music class, you know? So we started with the guitars, and I brought all the guitars up, and then we ended up talking, and I spoke to Abby. I said, why don't I adopt the school? And I came up with this idea of, I want to be like the mentor, the, you know, the guy that goes out and helps raise the funds for the music and the art. And I said, well, you know when you drive down the freeway and you see adopt the freeway or adopt the highway, and you <laughs> someone's name, I said, I want to be that guy for Rosewood Avenue School. So we had a fundraiser, we had our first fundraiser, and we had a bunch of great people out. Uh, and our neighbor at the time was Jane Lynch uh, from Glee, and we asked her to come on board as uh, one of our ambassadors. So she hosted the event, we raised a bunch of money, we turned around and carpeted the school, painted it. We wow. uh, got 25 keyboards, two drum kits, a PA, like more guitars than we could possibly need. I mean, about something like 50 guitars there. and then. We had some money left over, so we decided, okay, now let's let's branch out, move to some other schools. So we partnered with another group that had already been working in the schools, and we did 1,000 instruments to 25 schools across the LAUSD, which is Los Angeles area. At that point, uh, we were hearing about the cuts mm -hmm. in the LAUS uh, DA area, and. Uh, uh, we went down, I went downtown to a rally, and there was all these people out in the street, and the board was basically gonna cut $18 million in the arts and music education for K through six and uh, all the way up through high school. But our focus, what we really primarily focus on is K through six, okay. uh, the formative years, I call it. You know, the, the years that when a child really kind of starts to figure out who they are and you know, they're really developing. So, we decided we're going to go K three six. So I ended up somehow in the boardroom with the LAUSD Board of uh, Education. And next thing I know, a woman comes over to see and she says, "Would you like to speak?" So I had nothing prepared. <laughs> I went up and I spoke, and I just came from the heart, you yeah. know. And I said, "Look, we're in the biggest entertainment community in the world. We've got." you know, all these amazing movies and films and records and stuff coming out. How could we possibly not have music and art for our kids in LA? That's just not right. That's a travesty. We have to do something here. And then basically what happened was uh, it really resonated with the board and they, I don't know if it was little old me because Bono and Sting weren't there. Okay? <laughs> but Bono saving Africa, I'm just working on LA. But uh, so what ended up happening was I got a meeting with the, the school board uh, guys from uh, John Daisy, which is the uh, head of the, you know, the, the school board there, and then I met with uh, the music and arts department, and we basically partnered with them. And, uh, sorry, my phone is ringing. Oh, that's good. We basically partnered with the LAUSD, and now we've come up with a plan to go across the LAUSD area uh, adopting schools and different people, uh, you know, from celebrities all the way to companies, to businesses. Uh, we're doing different partnerships with brands. So anyone can have a school. It's all about going out and raising the funds and let's make music and art, you know, instrumental in, in the classroom. Basically, uh, when I was a kid, we had, you know, every kind of, activity in school possible because yeah. before the, the property tax situation in California and I know it's widespread across the country we had we had a lot of music and art in in my daily thing and I just loved it you know it was the part of the day that was joy filled for me and I think it's very important to remember you know we're sending our kids to school 
and we're gonna just hit them over the head with like you know arithmetic yeah. and you know history's cool I kind of dug history but you know I, I guarantee if you filled up a room with people who said how many people in this room love music and we're gonna do that tomorrow with Congress yeah. we'll get we'll get the most unanimous response ever on the hill everyone will raise their hand I love music I love the Beatles Cross this party line and yeah. then you go then you go then you go okay how many of you, when you were in school, loved mathematics? <laughs> you like, mm. you know, right? And I think we, that's the common thing amongst all of us, is that we all love music, and we all love art, and all the beautiful things in life. And it's, it's the part of the day where kids can go there and have that joy and togetherness, where there's no competition. Mm. You know, in art and music, they're, they're not competing for test scores. It's a communal thing. And, and that takes them into the rest of the day, and it's been scientifically proven yeah. that kids learn better and faster having the other curriculum. So we love that. And for me, it was the same way. I, I went to school, a lot of it was because I knew I had that music class. And when I was in high school, I had three music classes. Wow. I, could, I could pick my, uh, my classes that I wanted, my electives, they were called in those days, I and mean, they probably still are, but it's been a minute since it's been nice. <laughs> But I could pick the, uh, whatever electives I wanted, and I chose three music classes. Yeah. So I had orchestra, uh, wooden ensemble, and I had, um, I had big band, I had jazz band. And you know that formulated my career, and I always say, look, this isn't about creating great artists or creating great musicians. The modern, the modern world is a creative world, you know, from this creativity that could be the next CEO of Google.